Hello, everyone. In this lesson, we'll introduce how to use CCE to deploy workloads. Using Kinks as an example. Before we start, let's look at the relationship between workloads and containers. A workload contains multiple instances. An instance can contain multiple containers. And containers are created using images. Workloads are classified as deployments and stateful sets. For a deployment, instances are the same and can be replicated. Kinks is a typical deployment that involves only one instance and one container. Now let's look at the procedure of creating a workload. Firstly, we need to create a virtual private cloud VPC, which services as a secure private LAN on the public cloud, as shown in this figure. A VPC contains multiple subnets. A subnet holds one or more clusters. And a cluster contains multiple nodes. Secondly, we need to create a key pair. Key pairs are used for login authentication. Currently, CC allows users to log into a node using a password or a key pair. In this lesson, we use the key pair mode as an example. After that, we will create a cluster. A cluster is a collection of resources. It contains a group of nodes where workloads run. After a cluster is created, we can create a workload. I'll use Kinks as an example to show you how to create a single instance workload. Log into the Huawei Cloud Console and choose Virtual Private Cloud in the service list. Click Create VPC. You can use the default VPC name. But we advise you to change it so that you can identify the VPC more easily. Then, change the subnet name and retain the default values for other parameters. Click Create Now. Now the VPC is successfully created. Next, let's create a key pair. In the service list, choose Elastic Cloud Server. Then choose Key Pair in the Navigation pane. Click Create Key Pair. We can use the default key pair name. Here we change the suffix to 01 and click OK. The key pair is successfully created and saved to the local computer. Keep the key pair properly as it will be used for logging into cluster nodes. Next, we go to the CC console to create a cluster. Choose Cloud Container Engine in the service list. Click Buy under VM Cluster. Enter a cluster name. For example, Cluster 1. Next, let's look at the other parameters. Version refers to the Kubernetes community version. Usually we select the latest version. Management scale refers to the maximum number of nodes that can be managed by a cluster. If we set this parameter to 50 nodes, the cluster can manage a maximum of 50 nodes. High availability. If we select yes, three master nodes will be created in the cluster. If we select no, only one master node will be created. By setting this parameter to yes, we can enhance the reliability of the cluster. That is, the cluster will still be available if one master node is faulty. For VPC, select the VPC we just created. Network model and container network segment are advanced functions. We will skip this part in this video. Click next to create a node. We can create a node now or create one on the node management page and then let the node take over a created ECS. For billing mode, current region, and specifications, retain the default values. EIP is the acronym for Elastic IP Address. If we want a node to be accessed from a public network, we need to bind an EIP to the node. Here, we click Automatically Assign and buy an EIP for the node. System disk and data disk. Please note that the data disk cannot be deleted because it is dedicated for Docker installation. Login mode. We select key pair and use the key pair we just created. Click next to install the plugin. The system resource plugin required is mandatory. And the advanced function plugin optional is optional. Click specification configuration to set the plugin parameters and click OK. Click Buy Now and then click Submit. It takes about 6 to 10 minutes to create a cluster. OK. The cluster has been successfully created. 
Go back to cluster management. We can see that the cluster we just created is displayed in the cluster list and is available. Choose node management. Here we can see the node we just created and the EIP it is bound to. Next. Let's create a workload. Choose workload and then deployment in the navigation pane. Click create deployment. Enter a workload name. For example, thinks cluster name. Select the cluster we previously created. Set instances to one and click next. Click add container. My images are private images you have uploaded to the SWR service. Third-party images allows you to connect CC to a third-party image repository. Other sharing provides you images that other tenants share with you using the SWR service. Here, we select official Docker Hub image and choose Kinks. Image version. The image version is decided by the version of the Docker Hub you installed. Usually we select the latest image version. Container resource. Here. Request means the minimal resources required for the running of the container and limit means the resource quota. If you are concerned about system faults caused by container overload, properly set resource limits for the container. Here we retain the default values. Click next and then click add access mode. Enter ginks in the service name text box. Set access mode to external access and set access type to elastic IP address in the container port text box enter 80 which is preset in the image set access port to automatically generated click OK click next advanced settings usually we retain the default settings and click create after the workload is successfully created click the external access address Kinks can now be successfully accessed. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you.